Hey, and welcome back to Wheat Beat. My name is Mike, and I got back from Utah where I bought a whole bunch of flour at Central Milling. You can click the link up above and see that last video. Now, I promised you that when I came back, I was gonna bake my first loaves of bread, and I kinda lied, because I don't even have electricity to that new convection oven we installed. Today's video, I promise, is gonna be very short. It's just for those that might be interested to see how we did the electrical connections, and of course, the hiccups that we came across in the process. As with everything in this project. So join me today and see how we hooked up that oven and let's get started. You gotta be careful you don't want to skeet, uh, skin that oh, wire yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. So you just kind of score it and then you can come back and kind of rip it apart then. So let's uh, keep this keep it a, a good 110 degrees inside there so you can proof it up then. That's the proofer down there. That's the proofer down there. Okay. Yeah, the proofer is over here. This is the big oven right here. Okay. And that's and that's why the electrical is beefy for this and the electrical for the proofer is just the 20 amp. Oh, this is actually a different. It's not all powered by one thing. No, no, there's a plug down there for the proofer. Well, there is. What's nice about these ovens is that they're wired very Simply, I, you know, this is real nice. You got a little distribution block right here. All you got to do is just you got your L1, which is power, power, and power. All three of them are powers L1, 2, and 3, neutral, and then ground. It's super simple, yeah. And then over here, they actually have a setting for if you do uh, if two, you do 240, 240 volt, 240. 208, you just move yeah. this like jumper type of thing. Nice. Over. Just barely and spin them over. Our wire nuts are done by size and they go by color then. Mm -hmm. So blues will be bigger than this. Yeah, much better. It's hard getting it into the Yeah, this, especially this big wire. You're gonna have to use your muscles here. Yep. And one wire at a time. Get your back into it. You don't want to push the box. You don't want to push too hard because then you push the box out. Oh, so you you always uh, have the wire going off. I always have the wire coming out crooked like this. Horizontal. Yep, horizontal. I I do it either horizontal or vertical. Because vertical city going up. upwards, yeah. really. And that's so that the so that it doesn't get trapped on the wheels. Get trapped underneath of it and really? whatnot. Yeah. Hmm. All right, proofers plugged in. And you want it all the way against the wall? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Or on the side of that floor sink right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Talk to me, Chris. You got the one you can see. Can you come forward? So we're just missing this thing. Just missing it. So if we can spin it. Let me get this stuff out. So now we power it up, huh? Yeah. All right. Good. Where's my... There you go, Tim. Look at that. The screw on the plate nick the wire and that have tripped to, everything i have to go ahead and pull all the wires back out double check and inspect them and tape them and put the little screws in wow all right we're trying it again turning on power see if it pops the whole house again or not oh it did whole house popped well back to the drawing board this had to be, all be taken apart it is not coming together Every time they turn on the power, it pops the entire circuit for the house, not just the circuit breaker for the oven. So now they're going through all of their electrician magic to try to figure out what's going on. We did some isolation inside the oven. They're now checking basically the wires running through the house to see what's causing this to happen. So we'll see. All right, so here's the update. Uh, they The electricians left. They left everything hooked up and I even took a picture of how they connected everything here. So I called Moffitt and they talked to their technical support people and what 
turns out is that this white neutral should have never been connected into here at all. Apparently that's too hot <laughs> for this oven. Unfortunately, they don't say anything about that in their instructions. So these two uh, wires are supposed to go here in what's labeled L1 and L2. Uh, this should just stay pigtailed off like this and then this uh, ground gets connected. Okay, I'm going ahead and tied in the two hots, L1, L2. Now there's a ground and the neutral is over here with a pigtail on it. So let's go ahead and turn on the power and see if everything works. Here we go. Nope. Uh, okay, we went back to the drawing board and I called Moffitt back up and this is what they told me to do. Instead of putting the two hots on the same uh, terminal bus here on L1 and L2, they had me put one hot on this one and the other hot on what is called neutral here and then the ground and then to just cap off the white neutral here. This is what they told me to do and uh, apparently now it should work. Unfortunately, the last person I spoke to at Moffitt did not mention that this needs to be on this terminal. I was putting them together and it was causing an arc between them. So I'm gonna go back out to the panel and we're gonna turn this on and hope for the best. Okay, back out to the panel and by the way, I have to mention that Unfortunately, in these instructions on how to hook this up, it doesn't explain anything about what I just did. Isn't that a shame? Here we go. We're going to try this again. Hey, we're good. This is looking good. All right. And we have power. Look at that. Oh, yeah. All right, now we have to uh, run the oven at 400 degrees for one hour according to the instructions. So we'll get, let's see, temperature, get it up to 400 degrees, and then we'll do for one hour, ah, 60 minutes. Timer is on, temperature is set at 400. And I am one excited guy. Next time you see me, I'm gonna uh, fire up the big mixer. We're gonna put some challah bread in here and that is gonna be an interesting uh, experiment to see how my first loaves of bread come out. So join me for that and until next time, as always, go bake something.